Hey everyone, me Kevin here. Joe Biden just spoke and here's a rundown of exactly what he said, including what he said about stimulus. Just a heads up, this is not me taking sides. If Trump were speaking, I'd be doing a breakdown of him as well. So if you want perspectives and my opinions, well then of course go down to the links down below and you'll get plenty of those when it comes to making money via real estate, stocks, YouTube videos, rental renovations, real estate sales, you name it. There's some amazing programs down there for you and take advantage of the Black Friday month coupon codes. Okay, first, Joe Biden mentioned that we're going to go forward in a consistent manner. He says, quote, nothing is going to stop Biden from moving forward. And he says the fact that Trump won't concede doesn't matter and is an embarrassment. That was his word. Joe Biden said that. Then Joe Biden was asked, well, what about what Secretary of State Mike Pompeo said? And to this, Joe Biden sort of laughed off what Secretary of State Mike Pompeo when said. The process it's worth seeing if you have not seen this yet. So let's just quickly pull it up here on the iPad and let's listen to Secretary of State Mike Pompeo uh, in, reg in response to this question that Mike here has asked. So here we go. Uh, is the State Department currently preparing to engage with the Biden transition team? And if not, at what point does a delay hamper a smooth transition or pose a risk to national security? There will be a smooth transition to a second Trump administration. All right, we're, we're ready. The, the world is watching what's taking place here. We're gonna count all the votes, when the process is complete, there'll be electors selected. There's a process. The Constitution lays it out pretty clearly. The world should have every confidence that the transition necessary to make sure that the State Department is functional today, successful today, and successful with the president who's in office on January 20th, a minute afternoon, will also be successful. All right, so that's what Mike Pompeo said. He, you know, he sort of said that with the smirk there, almost kind of like he, he knows that is this is obviously hotly contested. Uh, it was almost as if he was just trying to make a point. But uh, moving on, when asked what Biden would say to Trump right now, if Trump were watching, Biden says, I'm ready to talk to you. And Biden says he does not feel hampered that Trump is not cooperating with Biden's transition team. Instead, Biden doesn't believe that legal actions are necessary and time will basically solve this transition. So, so far, Biden sees no evidence of fraud and he's moving forward no matter what uh, Trump believes is sort of the Joe Biden opinion right now. Biden further said that nations like France, Britain, Germany, Ireland, Canada, and many other countries are calling him to congratulate him and he's ready to move forward. When asked if Mitch McConnell and Republicans would recognize a Biden election, he said, quote, they will. Biden has not yet spoken with Mitch McConnell, which we expect Biden to have to strike multiple deals with Mitch McConnell to actually get things done in Congress. Now, Biden does believe that once the Electoral College selects Joe Biden as the official president-elect, then he believes that Republicans will end up supporting his election. Biden is also confident that he'll be able to strike deals with Republicans and get things done. On stimulus, Joe Biden said that people need help right now. And he reiterated this. He said, right now. He says he spoke with Nancy Pelosi and spoke with the House Minority Leader, Kevin McCarthy. It's the ranking Republican in the House. And Joe Biden said that his focus in discussions has been small businesses, people who are about to be evicted, mortgage assistance. This is very good. The rental insurance, mortgage assistance insurance, because we want to avoid that eviction crisis at the start of the year. Unemployment assistance, obviously the other aspects are very important as well. State and local assistance to help ensure that police and firefighters don't get laid off. Just a heads up, there was no mention of direct payments. Just unemployment, mortgage and rental assistance, small businesses. Those were the focuses. Now, I'm sure he wasn't providing a comprehensive list here, but the talk of stimulus checks themselves has not come up uh, from Joe Biden just yet. And this was pretty true before the election as well. Right now, the most important thing he mentions is getting relief now. He says that Nancy Pelosi is working on a relief bill to get something done by the end of the year. We're not quite sure if this is just the HEROES Act or are they going to change the HEROES Act now that power, you know, powers have changed a little bit. We'll see. Mitch McConnell, whom the White House has put in charge of stimulus negotiations, says he wants a stimulus package now that's closer to $1 trillion. This is larger than the $500 billion skinny bill that we've heard about before, which never went anywhere in the Republican-controlled Senate, but it's significantly smaller than the $2.4 trillion stimulus deal that Nancy Pelosi sought prior to the election. And it's even smaller than what the White House had proposed, which was $1.9 trillion before the election. 
Unfortunately, that $1.9 trillion offer from the White House is now essentially gone because Mark Meadows and Steve Mnuchin are not negotiating anymore with Nancy Pelosi. Instead, it's now Nancy Pelosi negotiating with Mitch McConnell. And Mitch McConnell believes that he has a mandate to keep the size and cost of this package down. And that instead, the country wants to see smaller targeted relief, not something large. Now, the good news is both Biden and McConnell suggest they want to see something by the end of the year. And that's because we hit numerous cliffs. Quick reminder as to what these are. Unemployment ends at the end of the year for self-employed people. The CDC's eviction moratorium ends at the end of the year. Student loan deferrals end at the end of the year. And a bunch of CARES Act programs like the Main Street Lending Program, the Municipal Bond Credit Facility, the Corporate Credit Facility with the Fed, all of these expire at the end of the year. And we don't have any indication that any of this stuff is going to get extended just yet. So there you have the update. If any of this stresses you out, make sure to get life insurance in as little as five minutes via the link down below. You could Apple Pay and Android Pay for it. I have it. Lauren has it. It's super easy, super convenient. Didn't have to talk to anyone either, which makes it even more convenient. Also get three free stocks with Weeble, so that way you could trade in the after hours sessions. Just deposit $100 and you could trade with the stock trading platform Weeble, and they'll give you three free stocks worth up to $1,600. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.